In this channel, we've already introduced you to these sort of very fascinating set of numbers known as prime numbers. Now within prime numbers themselves, there's an entire sort of sub-classification of primes with interesting properties. So in this video, we are going to uh, highlight one such uh, set of primes known as twin primes. Now the definition of twin primes is as follows. If P is a prime number and P plus 2 is also a prime number, then the pair P and P plus 2 are known as twin primes. Let's look at some examples of uh, twin primes. So here are the first few examples. Uh, 3 and 5 is the first twin prime. 3 is a prime, 3 plus 2, 5. 5 is a prime, so that's a twin prime. Uh, the other twin primes are 5 and 7. Fifty-nine, sixty-one, and so on and so forth. So let's look at some uh, uh, properties of these twin primes. Let's look at the number that falls in the middle. So the number that falls in the middle is 4. Uh, the number in the middle of these two twin primes is 6. The number in the middle of these two is 12, 18, 30, 42, 60. So these are the numbers that are in the middle of the twin primes. Now, is there a pattern that we can actually spot here? If we consider all of these numbers except the first one, so we don't consider the first twin prime, we don't consider that, but we consider all the other numbers here, we find that all these numbers are actually multiples of 6. That's uh, interesting, isn't it? So all of these numbers here are multiples of 6. So if these numbers here are multiples of 6, the structure of the twin primes is 6n minus 1, comma, 6n plus 1 for n, a natural number. That's sort of easy to see. So if the middle number is a multiple of 6, then the structure of the twin primes uh, is 6n minus 1 comma 6n plus 1. So the question that we have for you is the following. Is this universally true? Right? Is this universally true for all twin primes or is it the case that it's only true for the first couple of twin primes apart from the very first twin prime? So that's the question we are going to ask you. Is this universally actually true or not? We'll leave you with another question, and that is, can you list all twin prime numbers less than a thousand? Let's outline a, a sort of rather interesting property of uh, twin primes known as uh, Brun's theorem. And this property of the primes, of the twin primes, was proved by a gentleman known as Vigo Brun, uh, more than a hundred years ago. And the statement of the theorem is as follows. So the statement of the theorem is that the sum of the reciprocals of the twin primes converges to a finite value. Right. So that's the uh, key ingredient uh, of, the, of the theorem. And essentially what it says is the following. So if we consider the first couple of twin primes, uh, just as an example, so you have 3, 5, you have 5, 7, uh, you have 11 and 13, uh, and so on and so forth. Now you are meant to consider the sum of the reciprocals, right? The sum of the reciprocals. So if you consider 1 upon 3, plus 1 upon 5, plus 1 upon 5, plus 1 upon 7, plus 1 upon 11, plus 1 upon 13, and so on and so forth, then this converges to a finite value, and the finite value is now known as Brun's constant. It's actually named after the gentleman himself, and it's known as Brun's constant. 
So that's a really sort of fascinating property of uh, twin primes where the sum of the reciprocals of the twin primes converges to a finite value and that value is now known as Brun's constant. We leave you with a rather interesting question to think about. Do there exist infinitely many twin primes? This is a question which is actually very easy to ask. We know what twin primes are. And the question is, do there exist an infinitely uh, many number of them? And while it is an easy question to ask, it's actually a very, very difficult uh, question to answer. And this has led to something known as the twin prime conjecture, which is, can you prove that there exist an infinitely many uh, number of twin primes?